message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked that off for you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So, let's just focus on getting you through your first night. Okay, uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. And it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah blah blah. Now that might sound bad, I don't know. But there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years, I never got a bath. I'd probably be a bit careful at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children. You need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. some kind of free roaming person. So if their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know. Uh, now concerning your safety, the only real risk to you is the night of the attack of these characters. Uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its mask. Now, since it's the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Power. 